This is a quick video on how to get the IV characteristic graph of a diode using the simulation feature on Peacewise. Here's the circuit. Uh, that should be everything you need. I'm going to go to analysis setup. I want to show, want to show off how my simulation is going to run. There's everything you need. Transient response, final time, step ceiling. That's everything. And let's run it. Okay, so this is the this is what pops up when you run the simulation. Uh, we're measuring the waveform response for the input and the output, but we don't care about any of that, so we're going to get rid of all of it. And we're going to go to axis settings because we don't want to we don't want time as our x axis. So we're going to change the axis variable, and we want to measure voltage across the diode. So we're going to do V1, D1, minus V2, D1. And that's all we need. We're going to go back to that in just a second, and we want to measure current across the diode. Let me zoom out here. This is the entirety of the curve, but you know we got all this, all this stuff. It's zero from zero amps from zero volts to you know negative voltages. So we don't need all that. So I'm going to go to Access Settings, I'm going to go to User Defined in the Data Range, I'm going to put down 0. So it's going, instead of uh, negative 10 to 1 volt, it's going to just go from 0 to 1 volt. And this looks a lot better. Uh, and this is the IV curve of a diode. Uh, and if you want to double check, just make sure you have the right IV curve. This is what it's supposed to look like. We're looking at forward bias. It's supposed to start to rise around 0.5 and then it sort of plateaus around 0.7. And you'll see right here, it starts rising at 0.5, plateaus around 0.7. That's about it. Thanks for watching.